The Milky Way galaxy is made up of hundreds of billions of stars, and orbiting many of those stars are mysterious worlds that we call exoplanets. The first planet beyond our solar system was detected back in 1992, and since then more than 4,000 have been discovered and confirmed. Planets are born from the clouds of dust and gas that orbit new stars, and our world is no different. Earth formed approximately 4.54 billion years ago from the leftover material that also created the Sun, and since then it has experienced many stages throughout its history. But although Earth may seem extremely old to us, there are planets out there that have existed since near the beginning of time. This distant object has been nicknamed Methuselah and is the oldest known planet within the Milky Way galaxy. Officially known as PSR B1620-26 b, Methuselah is estimated to be 12.7 billion years old, making it nearly three times the age of Earth. The incredible age of this planet means that it must have formed just a billion years after the Big Bang, and its very existence challenges theories on how, when and where planets begin to take shape. Methuselah is 2.5 times the mass of Jupiter, likely making it a giant gas planet, and its nickname comes from the biblical elder who according to the Bible lived until he was 969 years old, making him the oldest person ever to live and providing a perfect name for this mysterious planet. The truly ancient world can be found orbiting a bizarre pair of ancient stars that are located just outside the centre of a huge globular cluster called Messier 4, which is about 5,600 light years away in the constellation of Scorpius. The host stars are a part of a magnificent binary system that is composed of a pulsar and a white dwarf. A pulsar is a rapidly rotating neutron star, which is the remaining core of an ancient massive star that exploded in a spectacular supernova. It spins at an enormous speed, possibly 100 times every second, while funneling jets of radiation out along its two magnetic poles, which produce extremely powerful beams of light. The White Dwarf, however, is the hot core of a star that exhausted its nuclear fuel, and is likely the remnant of the star that Methuselah originally formed around. Nobody knows for certain how Methuselah ended up within this strange binary system. But there is a theory that suggests the planet formed around an ancient sun-like star just outside of Messier 4. Methuselah orbited this sun-like star untouched for billions of years, until they eventually fell into the dense heart of the cluster, where stars are so crowded together they are fractions of light years apart. As Methuselah and its star passed by a neutron star, gravitational forces pulled the two systems together. Methuselah then slowly traced out a wide orbit around its new binary system at a distance of approximately 2 billion miles away, similar to Uranus's orbit around the Sun today. Over the course of a few billion years, the ancient planet then witnessed the death of its sun-like star as it swelled into a red giant, while transferring matter into the close-by neutron star. This then caused the neutron star to rotate faster and faster, turning it into a rapidly spinning pulsar. The red giant star eventually shrunk into the small white dwarf that can be observed today, and Methuselah continued to orbit the now peaceful binary system relatively undisturbed. However, this cosmic arrangement will probably be interrupted within the next few billion years or so, as the peculiar binary system will likely encounter another star within this rough region of the galaxy. 
If this is the case, then the most common outcome is that the lightest object is ejected from the system. Which means that one day, Methuselah may be doomed to wander the galaxy alone, without a parent star for the rest of its existence. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please hit the like button, share and subscribe. If you would like to help support my channel then please head on down to the description where you can find a link to my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.